Ooh, and yeah, Beth is from wrong. Lubbock, Texas. We've also got Good Morning from Sunny, Colorado. Yay. And from Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Nice. Tag 471. That's, That's so funny because I have family in Elk Grove. I have family in Vancouver. I mean, you know, it's like, yeah. it's like I have no people from all these places. That's family awesome. Family everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> well, that is really fun. Well, we have uh, some things to talk about today. and uh, For sure. Should we project first or talk first? Well, I don't know. What I do you guys don't know. think? Anybody asking <laughs> any questions? So this is a great time, you guys, to ask us all the questions you want to know. Um, Natalie has a show called Final Stitch, and she can answer all the questions about that. And I just can't stop talking, so you can ask me all the <laughs> questions about that. And uh, we well, are ready to answer any questions that you have. And we also have a couple of fun things to talk about today as far as things that are, are uh, coming up. And, um, and you may have noticed that uh, my mask, like this, you know, you may have noticed that uh, it's hanging on the front of me. So this is actually a lanyard from an event I attended. And I think it's such a great idea if we made something like this for kids, because our kids, you know, they've got, they've got them hanging on one ear, they've got them on an arm, they've left them in the classroom, you know, they're, all of us, um, we're always like, oh, I've got to have my mask on. And for me, you know, I never thought I'd be the old lady who wore the glasses with the chains. <laughs> but let me just tell you, the mask convenience with wins. the chains, <laughs> convenience wins. Because I've always got this. I'm like, wait, you know, you, you get up to the store and it's still not normal for me to wear a mask. Is it for you? Mm, pretty? Pretty pretty normal. It's, it's yeah. getting pretty, pretty But I got thinking, habit. you know, if we, did a, um, if we did a jelly roll strip, two and a half inch strip, Yep. Fold it in, fold it in. You know, you could put, you know, hooks, buttons. I a mean, long pins. necklace would work. A long necklace would you work. Could just, just loop it through the, the ear loops. and Right, just something yeah. so that we don't forget our mask. And uh, for me, this is super handy. So I thought I would mention that because I think it's a, a pretty cool idea. And, I think we uh, should have, when Misty gets back, maybe she can do a live teaching how to make one. There we go. Because it doesn't seem like they're going to go away idea. anytime soon, you know. So, Miss, do we have any? I mean, uh, so, do we have any questions? So we do yet? have a couple questions. Um, actually, Debbie Pierce says, "I'd love to see a final stitch on thread selection." Ooh, um, oh, good so, idea. Yeah, give us your ideas on what you'd like to see on the final stitch. Yeah, Natalie, you want to tell Excellent. us a little bit about what the final stitch is? You got one coming so, out. Yes, tomorrow we have, we have a new episode coming out tomorrow. Ooh. Final stitch is just a. It's a great little show that I love to do because I get to talk about a little, um, a little bit. We touch on all these different subjects, right? And there's so much detail and so much variety and creative space in like quilt and bind as desired. And so we get to take this opportunity and say, all right, here's a little thing that you might want to know more about. And I go through a few different ways to do it and answer a couple of questions. We get questions all the time in our comments on always all yeah. kinds of different um, platforms. And so I love so to you answer several, those questions. Several, several classes out. So what? So what do you have? So do you far, what? we've done three, four. Yeah, I think three. This is actually gonna be number six coming six? out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Ooh, she's awesome. talking way more than she thinks. Um, yeah, we did. We did some some hints on um, machine quilting, machine some quilting. hints on batting, some tips on um, different ways to hang a quilt. Uh, did you do binding? I'm not sure that we've really gotten into binding yet. Because Binding's coming up. Coming Ask up. us your yeah. questions okay. about binding. Okay. Right. Um, tomorrow's so, episode is labeling. Tomorrow, yep. Labeling. We're talking about a few different ideas for attaching a label, whether your quilt is finished or unfinished. Um, yeah. And so what I love about it is that I get to dig in on a couple questions, but it's not all inclusive. So I can go back and talk about labeling again. Right. And, and answer further questions and give more ideas because there really are just so many different things you can do. Yep. I mean, the, the creative options are endless. They and really I are. I love they that. They really are. And the thing I love about labeling is that your quilt is going to outlive you. Mm -hmm. And I collect, you know, I'm a rescuer and I'm mm -hmm. an adopter and I find old quilts and I bring them into my life. And I love to find one that had a label on that said, yeah. you know, this was made for Aunt Mary in 1923 for her wedding. Would that not be so that cool? That would be the coolest. And knowing, as a quilter, knowing that your quilt is going to outlive you. It may, mm -hmm. I mean, it may not at all live the life you intend, but knowing that it's going to outlive you, putting that information on there, I think is just crucial. Yep. Just crucial. Yeah. It's very cool. So, very, very fun. And just, just and, to say. And where does it come out? Where does where Yeah, so Final Stitch comes out on every other Wednesday on our YouTube channel. So you can subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel and um, get notifications. You'll never miss an episode. But it'll come out. And 
there's a little confusion. It's not a live, so you're not going to miss it if right. you don't tune yeah. in right no. when yeah, it comes out. It's, it's a video that is going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. Yep. So okay. you can go back and watch the previous episodes. You can still ask questions mm -hmm. and um, send us more questions for more episodes in the future. Gosh, yes. yes. It's yeah. so fun. It is I a love lot. It. Well, I love it's it. just fun. Well, so you know how I feel about it, honestly, Natalie, is, um, is I'm kind of goofy and silly and I'm like easygoing and it's like... <laughs> It's like, I feel like I'm a little bit the gateway drug, you know, for quilting. I oh, like gosh. get them in, bring them in, come wow. on, you can do it, you know, all that, you know. And then you take it like a step further because you think a little bit more intellectually than I do. You'll take it a step further and you're like, okay, we're all doing this. Now, if you want to do this. And it's like, you just take it a step further. And I think so many people, um, you know, they love the ideas, but then they love, they want to know all the details. And you're mm -hmm. a detail. Uh, total detail person. So I think that that yeah. is, uh, was that like a really bad thing to say? No. <laughs> I mean, no, I, mean I think about... we all understand it. I think we all get it. We get it. It's fine. You're our gateway to quilting. Well, for you guys, for every, anybody who's my age, we're forever saying something that is no longer PC. Got it. No longer. <laughs> my girls are like, no, That's no, the no, truth. no, 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 no. And I'm like, wait, 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 What's, what, what does that word mean now? You know, we never know what that word means. So it yeah. means something completely different. So, uh, yeah, they're always catching me on those kind of things. Anyway, I, I just feel that way. And I, feel, I think it's really cool that you've just, like, taken it a step further and, and done that as well. It's really yeah. fun. I love getting to, to show exactly how to do that thing. That's right. Yeah. Close and and, and personal. And I also love that even though I'm showing you exactly how to do one version of a thing, there's, like, 12 other ways to do it. There is. Easily. Yeah. We and so the fact that more. you could circle back around and do yes. something else, it's just, it's so right. nice. Yeah. yeah. So really if you have, nice. if somebody says, well, you should try this, I mean, let me know. I'll see if well, we can figure it out. <laughs> that's actually one of my fun things about the comments Yeah. is that there's a lot of smart people out there. And if you and read so through the creative. comments, they'll be like, they'll say sometimes, why didn't you do this? And I'll be like, why didn't I, I didn't do that? <laughs> you know, that would be so cool, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and so I love the comments. I think that comments are, are great and they're amazing. Super fun. So this last week was Halloween, mm -hmm. and uh, I started doing this thing in July, at 4th of July, because I realized that my grown children, um, they're already married, they're done having babies, they've already graduated, and I'm, so I'm not making them or giving them quilts very often. And yes, so it's I been decided. At least 15 years since I received a quilt from mom. <laughs> you guys, that's how old your kids, your last my baby, baby is. My last baby quilt. And, uh, <laughs> and, so, and so I realized that my, my adult children, I, they weren't really getting quilts. So I decided mm -hmm. that on holidays, family holidays, that we would do a drawing for a quilt. Yep. And, um, and so, uh, so I've been, we've been doing that. And if you win the quilt, then your name is out. And so the next one comes out. So all year long, those of you who have been following along with the block of the month, I've been doing the block of the month. Mm -hmm. And this is our block of the month quilt right here. Yep. And um, are we? Do we have it right side up? I have no idea if it's right side up. We'll find out when we open it. But it doesn't matter with it this is. quilt. It is right it side is. up. It is. So this is our block of the month quilt, and we've been working on this. And there are actually still some more uh, of these available a few if kits you want to. Yeah, still some more kits available if you want to. If you want to start on it, but it's taken us. We're up to block. Are we up to block Where 10? Where do they go for this yes. if so, they wanted to, to buy? So great question. So you can actually still subscribe to Block of the Month, and there's a link in the description of oh, okay. this video. Um, and there's also on our supplies list, we've, we've linked to this, and there's a link we're going to put on screen here that also is how to get directly to the Block of the Month information. Awesome. Um, and we are coming up on Block 10. Yeah. We'll be airing this week. Block 10. Um, and so that's the last of the blocks. So all and these then the last will one will be assembly. Assembly of putting the whole thing together. Putting yes, it together. assembly. And since I have to know how to do it, I actually had to finish one so that I know how to teach you so I can look at, you know, when I do that, because I generally, when I sew something together, I just like sew it. And then I see where the hard parts are. And then I know, you know, what to make sure that you guys are looking for. I'll be like, mm -hmm. well, this part, piece of cake. But when you get here, you want to look at this. And so I actually, you know, finished that. And then I, you know, from watching, so we have a Facebook page called MSQC All Stars because the name of this quilt is All Stars Block of the Month. And you can join and that group when you You can subscribe. join that group. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, um, and some of the people on there are making it with other fabric. Well, when I saw the Halloween fabric of some of them, I was like, I've got to make a Halloween A new quilt. obsession. <laughs> I was just so obsessed with it. And so I actually made, I've, I actually made a Halloween quilt. Uh -huh. And I was going to give that for my family quilt drawing. And then I couldn't give it away because I liked it so much. 
<laughs> so true confessions, I made another one. And, uh, and so that one. Classic overachiever. <laughs> classic. <laughs> but when you see the Halloween quilt, you'll see why. So actually, it's Natalie so won the drawing for the Halloween quilt. Yes. Um, this last. I could uh, not believe it. I'm not. She's not like, well, I will get it. A I never of drawings. Win, you know. <laughs> And 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 uh, and she won it. So yes. let me show you that same quilt in this Halloween fabric. So um, it's upside down. Let's see. Here we go. Turn, turn. Here we go. All right. So A backing too. So look I how know. cute this is. So Cuddle backing. Right. Look it's how the cute best. This is. So these are just scraps out of my bin. I have a bin where I put. You know, everybody asks about storage, how we store our fabric and stuff like that. When I have holiday bins, so I have a Halloween bin, I have a Christmas bin, you know, that sort of thing. But these are all those same blocks, but in Halloween fabrics, and it's so darling. It's so cute. It's so darling. It's and so we cute. did put I cuddle. We did put cuddle on the back, and this is like a so soft. Yep. It's like, and it has a spider web quilt pattern. The quilt pattern is spider That's web. So cute. I so love. anyway, Natalie won the family drawing. So I thought that was kind of, I thought that'd be kind of fun for you guys to see, especially all of you who are following along in that um, block of the month, you know. <laughs> I get to, to be see. the luckiest this holiday. Our, ha our Halloween um, theme this year was Harry Potter and Natalie came as Professor Bunch. Sprout. Sprout. <laughs> Professor Sprout. Professor Sprout. I, I had I a bunch of plants. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She had some mandrakes. We had some mandrakes there. Um, I don't know a ton about Harry Potter, except I know that I like it, but I have my children, I have several children who are like super into Harry Potter, so it was, yes. like, it was like really, really fun. It was so And good. Uh, those pictures are all on my Jenny MSQC uh, Instagram, and you can see them there, <laughs> and uh, if you want to go see that, you know. And there was a picture of Natalie in her, I don't know why I keep wanting to call you Bunch, Professor Bunch, Professor Sprout. <laughs> Uh, in her little sprout hat. Pomona sprout. Yeah, I was Mrs. Um, who was I? McGonagall. <laughs> Professor McGonagall. Yes. I'm yes, like, you were. I'm like, wait, who was I? It was a really good costume. It was a really long time ago. It, it was, was like three days. Three days ago. <laughs> Sorry. It's like my brain. My poor brain. It's good. All right. All right. So we have a fun project today. We, we do. do. Because somebody wrote me and asked me, when you have an extra block, how do you turn that into a pillow? Mm -hmm. And I thought that's such a great question. And so I brought some extra blocks here and, um, and I thought we could like just use these and turn these into a pillow. This is a block um, Natalie designed. And Natalie, since I can't remember what I was for Halloween three days ago, do you mm -hmm. remember the name of this block? Calico Star. Calico Star, that's right. So there's a sure whole do. <laughs> tutorial you can go watch on Calico Star. And this is one of the leftover blocks that I made from a different collection. And, um, and it's like, how do you turn this into a pillow? So I actually start with the size I want my pillow to end up. Right. So we have two pillow forms over here. And, um, and this is, I think, I think this is kind of key. So this is a 16 inch form. And this one is almost gonna fit this form exactly. And so basically on this one, I would cut out you know, uh, a back, and I would just sew it around and stuff it in. Mm -hmm. I would, I would recommend actually measuring your block. Yes, measure your block. <laughs> you See can there? lay it. You can There's... lay it over the pillow. That's fine. <laughs> but if you want to know for sure what size it is, you can use your cutting mat or your oh ruler to measure she, your block. She's so dang smart. <laughs> Smarty pants. Sorry, I'm being a little snarky, it but it is, is exactly, exactly 16, 16 inches. See? So brilliantly. Brilliantly. All right. Then, so then so iron that. Are you planning to just cut a back and stitch it shut, or are you going to make no. an envelope? No. So you can do that. So you can cut it back exactly the same size, put it on this the front, stitch all the way around it. It'll get hot in a minute. Stitch all the way around it, and then stuff your pillow in, and uh, and then um, just, just stitch, it stitch that part closed. I like to do an envelope back. I like to do mm -hmm. a folded back on mine because I think it makes it um, machine washable. Yeah, you can just take <laughs> it apart and that's the best. I have a lot of grandchildren, and I like being and I like being able to change, but also, change yeah, out my pillows too. That's what too. I was going to say. You can you can have a different pillow every season or when you get sick of looking yeah. at one fabric or the and other. And so a couple ideas about this. You can actually just use this just like this or you can put this on some fusible. A stabilizer. Uh, fusible um, interfacing and so that it makes it nice and stiff. I sometimes um, quilt mine. I'll, I will put it on a little piece of batting and I'll quilt the top because it just makes it a little more firm. I like that firm front. Quilting adds um, good texture too. It adds great texture. So good. When so, you're quilting that, what kind of thread 
uh, color are you going to choose? I'm going to always choose a color of my background. And so here's, here's how you pick quilting thread for a quilt. This quilt right here, um, your background on it is, is white. And so we've chosen white thread. And, and when you choose an all over pattern and a, a thread that matches your background, the quilting steps back and it lets the quilt be the star. If you want your quilting to be the star, then you're gonna choose a thread that shines out more. But you'll notice that even when the thread comes over here on the dark, it doesn't take away from the block. It's not like you go, oh, there's the thread and not the block. It just, it just flows along and it just goes along and it's just fine. So, um, so this one is exactly set to fit this. Now, what do you wanna do? What's gonna happen if you wanna make an 18 inch pillow and you, you look at it and you're just, well, you're like, well, that's just gonna, not gonna be big enough. Mm -hmm. And so then we're gonna to wanna to put a border on it. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna, remember that if you add a border on one side and the other side, it's gonna double. So if you think this is 16 inches and the pillow is 18, so we need a two inch border. That just means if you add a two inch border on both sides, you're gonna be two inches too big. So you're gonna to want to add a, uh, a one inch border. You're gonna to wanna to divide the amount that you need bigger uh, in half so that you put half on each side. Mm -hmm. Now that might be easier to do. I have a smaller block over here and um, this is a disappearing, or I'm sorry, an exploding block. And these are really fun kind of to looks do. Kind pineapple-ish too. It does, it has a pineapple, like a pineapple look block. to it. And, um, and I brought this because there's a whole lot of things about this block that we need to fix before we can make it a pillow. First of all, it's like, uh, it's like a half an inch bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. So you're gonna wanna square that up. So let's, let me just walk you through this while we square it up. Now, on the exploding block, you'll see every time we lose the points always. So the points are a non-factor on this block. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna square this up and I'm just gonna put this ruler like along this edge and I'm probably going to kind of half and half it, you know, so that I'm, I'm squaring a little bit on both sides. So there's that one. Now let's look over here and we are making this block, it's, it's like 11 inches. So it's kind of a, a, a different size. I'm gonna turn it see what size it is on this side. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 again. And we're gonna just measure it up to 11 and cut it even on both sides. And then Natalie, if we wanna make a 16 inch pillow out of this, how, how much do we need to add to it? 11, 11. It's, the block is 11. All right, so, so 16 minus 11 I'm is making her five. Do the, do the hard math. So I would say a two and a half inch all the way around. Now, you're gonna ask, the question you're gonna ask me is, the pillow is 16 inches. Do we add extra for that, um, do we add extra for that? To take account for seam allowances. Yes, I do not, I do not. And the reason I do not is because I want my pillow to fit really tight in there. And so I do not. So we are going to take and make a two and a half inch strip and sew all the way around this. And I brought this backing right here. I thought it was super cute. Are you making your strip out of this? I am going to make my strip out of that. Is that okay? Awesome. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I just I wasn't thought... sure because you have this little um, stripey one well... and I didn't know which one you wanted to use for border. So when I do a pillow, I like to, um, I, don't, I don't sew it all the way around. And, uh, and turn it. Mm -hmm. I sew it and bind it. I put a binding all the way around the outside because I oh, love nice. that little look of the binding. Even though you're doing an envelope closure on the back also? Even though I'm doing an envelope closure, I still like to see the binding. And so, Interesting. so I, I think that little, it, it almost looks like piping around a pillow. Mm -hmm. I've actually made a pillow too where I come in and I'll sew in a little bit and it has like a, you know, a, like a lip around it. If you yeah. go into any of the stores that sell a lot of pillows, you'll get a ton of great ideas on... Um, like finishing the finishing edges. Finishing the edges, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, so on this, what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna add this strip to all four sides of this, and, and it should bring it right up And to we're getting some questions, so I just wanna 16. clarify. You, you chose not to add extra for seam allowance because you want that pillow I want it to, to be tight. Be tight. Right. So folks asking if you're adding seam allowances, we're not, and that's on purpose. Yes. Yeah. For me, you know, you, it, you gotta do, you gotta do what's best for you and, and your pillows, but uh, I'm just gonna do this. Now, one of the things, <laughs> this is like um, lazy sewers do this,
So I'm just going to take the other end of my strip and sew it on the <laughs> other side. And then I'll just make two cuts and then I'll sew two more. And um, I'm starting from either end. I'm leaving an uh, edge off so the selvage edge is out there. And then, and then we will come over here and I'm just going to I'm just going to take my little ruler and I'm going to trim this edge right here and I use my pillow as my um, guide on this, you know, the edge right the here. The block. Let me show you right here. So this, the block, yeah, my block. I'm already calling it a pillow. What other questions do we have, Liz? Are people, um, this, is, this is a great quick gift for Christmas. Yes. And lots of us have extra little blocks laying around and. So Kathy does says, Kathy Cronin says, if you add binding around the pillow, what is the width of the binding you like to use? Two and a half. Okay. I always use two and a half. Um, and, and the reason for that is, um, is that two and a quarter is just a little bit too high, tight for my hands to pull. As I get older, my hands, um, it's a little harder for me to pull that around. Two and a half is, is just easy, piece of cake. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border on the other sides of this as well, right sides together. So a quarter of an inch all the way down the side. And I, you'll notice I put those on just like you put them on a quilt. So I put them on the sides first and then the top and bottom. Which, it's square, so it doesn't matter which sides you pick to be sides. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And you could pre-cut your strips ahead of time if you wanted to. Yes, and hand me that other strip over there. Oh, gosh, As yes. far as, like, you, you know, you, you can, can start totally with two 11-inch strips, and then these should be 16. In theory, right? We'll see if my math is good. Well, I... Um, the math sounds good. It's, yeah, maybe. I... Obviously, I'm just, you know, I, uh, I just kind of make it work. And so we will measure this when it's done. And if it's a little bigger than our 16-inch pillow form, um, we will trim it up. You're going to trim first and then press? I am. Okay. I think it's easier to trim this way. But that's, again, totally personal. And would you say this is also like just a great thing to do with fabric you have in your stash, so it's not a whole lot that you have. It could be a leftover block from a quilt. It totally could be... a leftover block. Yep. And if you want to watch this tutorial, it's called Exploding Block. And it's a very fun way of making um, little blocks, a quick and easy way that just really lends itself to, um, you know, where you're like, you know, it's just like so cool to see it happening. All right, so let's measure this little pillow right here. And this measures out to, it's actually 14 and a half. So we didn't quite get it big enough. No, we for, did not. Uh, for our 16 inch pillow. Um, we thought two and a half would work. We should have done better math at that. But let me show you how to make the back. <laughs> this is live, right? I mean, if I had another color. It'll just color, be an extra full pillow, right? It will be an extra full pillow. It'll be okay. It'll be, extra, it'll be extra perfect. Full. All right. So when I make my back, <laughs> what I do is I take the width of my pillow like this. Are we sure this is, this is so wrong? <laughs> oh, it's 15. So we're only one inch off. Yeah, we should have gone, actually... gone with three inch strips to account for the seam allowance in here. Yeah, we forgot to add that. Yep, sorry about That's that, right. guys. Pretty sure Misty wouldn't have made this mistake. For but, sure know, not. <laughs> but you know, you just got us today, so you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece at 15. And uh, let's see here now. You're gonna cut it exact? I am. Okay. And, I, and I'm gonna fold this, so because I'm cutting off the end right here. Yeah. So I'm going to fold this up so that I only have to cut a little ways. And then, let's see, here is, let's see, where are we? Five, and we're at. Wait. Well, you're, you're not at. Let me see. You're wanting 15, right? You're going right. to need to clean this edge up because it's crooked. Oh, okay. Let me clean this edge. So glad I have Natalie here. <laughs> I actually truly am this kind of a sewer where it's like, this will work. Okay, this will work. Okay, this is fine, you know. All right, so now I'm measuring my pillow. I'm going to cut it the exact same size as my pillow, which means I'm going to cut it right here Just on 15 this. 15 inches. And then what we're going to do is my back. So this now actually makes like two backs. 
but I want it to overlap. And I like to add about, so I'm going to add 15 plus um, 6. No, wait. No, wait. I have to do, I have to do. 6 if, on both sides? 6 on both sides. Okay. No, I have to be more than 6 on both sides. So, half, so 15. Do so you want it to overlap by 6 eight. inches? I want it to overlap by 6 inches. A lot of overlap. Well, how about 3 inches then? I mean, that'll work. 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're going to cut two, <laughs> is that right? Two 18 inch pieces? When you fold yes. it back though, it's going to be only an inch and a half. Or if you're only folding a quarter an inch over. No, no, no. I'm fold, I want it to, I'm not helping. I want it to That's overlap. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it, just do it how I do it. All right. That's All right. perfect. That's what we want. Yes. That's <laughs> what we want. I'll stop helping. <laughs> All right, so I am going to, this is 15, and I'm going to cut this at about, let's see, where are we at? 20. Let me give me something easy to add from. We're getting a lot of folks saying this is how we do quilt math. This that is how is we all so do quilt true. math. That is so true. Yep. All right, so I'm going to cut this, and if it doesn't work right for me, then I will. Okay, I will you have a fold on that end. I'm going to cut off the fold. Yes. That's what I was assuming was going to happen. Yes, I'm cutting off the Wait, fold. Wait, that far in? You're hey, taking hey, an, don't another judge me. inch off. Another <gasps> risk taker right here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to lick that finger. I didn't mean to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am actually going to fold one of these edges under twice, and you're going to mm -hmm. iron that. Sure. And I'm going to stitch it down so now it has a finished edge. So we're going to do that on, on both sides, though, right? Yes. All right. And that you have to iron as, as fast as I'm talking. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Do <laughs> we have any questions while I'm standing here? She gets bored well, easily. Do you have a, I get bored there easily. is a question. When you use me, um, cuddle and minky on the back of something, do you add batting in the middle still? I do still add batting. Okay. Um, you don't have to add batting, but I do still add batting. And you have to remember, if you're going to machine quilt with, with cuddle fabric, it has a one-way stretch. So you want to make sure that the stretch isn't going the length of your quilt, that the stretch is going sideways when you put it on your on your bar. It also has a nap. So if you have to piece it, make sure yes. the nap is going the same direction. All right, so what Natalie did, just a minute. She folded this down a quarter of an inch and another quarter of an inch, and then um, we're just stitching down the side. And then I'll show you <laughs> what I do, because this is, I hadn't thought this through because I always do it this way, but I don't generally, if I taught it, I would have me measured it out, and I didn't think about that. So let me just show you what I do here. And it'll make sense in a moment. Now, when Natalie but, teaches this in a final stitch, she will definitely give you all the right measurements because <laughs> she takes it just a little bit. I was going to say, the nice thing about that is, is that you're going to know how to make this fold overlap. Right. And whether you have extra on either end is no big deal because then you know how to do this part right. for whatever size your pillow is. Right. So what True. I do is I, I'm going to lay my pillow like this. So, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put it this way, wrong sides up. And I'm going to overlap it maybe six inches. You know, I like it like that. And then I'm going to put my pillow right in the middle of it like this. So in the middle of the overlap. So my middle of my pillow is going to go over here like this. And then I'm just going to kind of pin this on here and I'm going to cut off these extras over here. Now, normally what you would do is measure, I think measure your pillow size and just add Yes, Six that's inches. what. That's kind of what we were trying. What I was trying to think through really quickly, but yeah. because, I think this is great because, because then normally, you know you know how to get that no matter what size your pillow is. Right. So I cut it the width, and then I'm trimming those off. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually I know you're going to be shocked. I'm going to pin this. She's pinning. I'm pinning. Scandalous. Scandalous. I know. So I'm pinning, and I'm going to uh, pin because I don't want my folds to come apart. And when you do a fold like this, because you have this cool opening on the back, you can actually just stitch the whole thing closed. All the way around. All the way around. And, um, and if you want to add your binding, you would, you would put it on so that it was, it was wrong oh. sides together. Mm -hmm. So actually, let's do that. Let's well, do that. Okay. Let me take this off of here, because I only pinned it two times, so it's easy switch o change -o. Then we're going to have this on the outside, and we're going to have this on the outside, like this. Right. And then so I can this put, is how it should look finished. It, yes. So this is so it'll look just like it does finished. 
and then this I would add a binding to. So you can do it the other way and just flip it, but I love the binding on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my little edges here. Let me get slide this one over. My edge of my pillow is going to be the edge that I'm looking at, mm -hmm. that I'm using as my um, Do you want me to cut my some sewing strips line? while you're sewing? Uh, you can cut them so they can see what it's going to look like, but we won't have time to bind it. We just won't. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. How much time? <laughs> How much we time? don't have time to bind it? Okay. <laughs> I'm a well, pretty we're fast gonna binder, put but I don't think I'm that really fast. really cute stripe on it yes. because it's adorable. All right, so I'm sewing on the top. And I'm sewing a healthy quarter of an inch. Like, not quite a half, but a pretty healthy. Flip it. I just thought with so many of us quilting, we always seem to have that extra block, and this would make such a great little Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. And to know how to do that envelope back is, I think, really helpful. It is, yeah. All right, hang on, I'm coming around, around the mountain. The other thing I like about the envelope back is you don't have to do any hand sewing. Until you add the binding. <laughs> well, the binding, I don't know why I don't consider binding uh, tedious and hand sewing, but. Well, it's, it's funny, we are I getting some, two, you know, two we are getting zone. some questions on um, doing hand quilting, so we may have to look at that in the future, talking a little bit about hand quilting. Hand and, quilting and is hand sewing. really fun. Yeah. All right. Did you cut a strip? No, you told me not to. I thought I you told said, you to. Oh, I'm Dang sorry. It. All right, I'm here sorry. we go. No, it's all right. All right. So while you're cutting the strip, you've picked up um, a couple different rulers today. One of the questions we had was, if you could only pick five rulers, what would they be? Five? That's I know, quite that's a, a lot, lot, right? But that's, that's like a, a whole well, I'd set. I'd for sure have these two. I would for sure, because these are made for the pre-cut. So we have two and a half and five, and they actually go corner to corner on 10-inch uh, squares and 5-inch squares. And I love using this for... My strips and a lot of the things I do are two and a half because I sew with the pre-cuts. And, um, and I so think I love my eight inch square. I do love a good squaring up ruler. Yeah, block locks in my stash for sure. All right, so we have a 16 inch, uh, a 15 inch pillow, probably 14 and a half by now. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and, we have, and our pillow base is 16, so we're gonna see we can get that in there. Oh, you can you can get it in there. You can just and um, and you can see right here. Wait, look right here. So this is our folded envelope back right here. Uh huh. And it just you know comes in, and then we'll show you what this binding is going to look like because it's so dang cute. You gotta love a stripe binding. Totally. So I uh, yeah. So I actually look. I keep my eyes peeled for striped fabric, diagonal stripe because I love a striped binding. I if mean, your I, stripe is not diagonal, all you have to do cute. is cut it on the, on the 45. You, you, that is true, but Which only makes it done. a tiny bit more difficult to add to your quilt because it's on the bias then. <laughs> but the stripe is so cute. <laughs> I look for diagonally striped fabric already. All right. Perfect. All right. Look at that. <laughs> she made it fit. We got it in Yay, here. That's awesome. It looks pretty good. Now, so I want you to picture this. So just, so just imagine. So I'm going to pin this on here so you can just kind of see this because this, how cute is this going to be when this is like all done? Just iron it in half one I more feel time. Like, I feel like we can get this done and post it on social somewhere today. <gasps> I think we could do that. I think that. we could we do can that. totally do that. That means she's going to go home and have lunch I and will. I'm going to bind. <laughs> <laughs> I might help you if you <laughs> cut the sass. <laughs> but anyway, look, look, at, look at this. It's just going to look like a little candy cane. It's going to be so cute oh, it all is the way around so this cute. pillow. All right, Natalie, I need four of these strips. Four? Yes. All right. One and uh, So Coming that's right kind of how you make an envelope back. Here's my envelope back right here. And that makes the pillow changeable. Like you can wash the, wash the top and do that, whatever. Anyway, I was trying to think of something to do that was quick, as easy, quick and easy and that we had actual, um, you know, I mean, we all have an extra block. And so yes. I think it's just great, to, easy way to make uh, the blocks um, for these kind of things. And you're going to put the binding on exactly like you would put it on a quilt. And Right. Um, so we're going to take the 
the pillow form out. Yes. Right, you won't And then just the pillow, stitch our yeah. binding on top, flip it, and hand stitch it down. Right. And so just remember, if your pillow front is a little bit smaller, you can make that fit. You can. You can do you it. You could also just um, take a little stuffing out of the pillow form if you wanted to. You could also put another border around it and this, make it bigger. This pillow form has a zipper, so you could add or subtract stuffing to yeah. make it whatever size it needs to be. True, true. All right, so give me some questions. What time is it? How much time do we have? Well, we are actually right at time. This is <gasps> actually really good. Perfect. Wow. Um, the other, the other question we do have is, can you do the same thing to make a pot holder out of a block? And yes, you could. Oh, oh absolutely. Totally. And I would recommend using Insulbrite, mm -hmm. and um, and I think you need about two layers of Insulbrite, and then maybe add another layer of something else, batting or denim or something that's more heat resistant. Absolutely. And then Mary Alice also says, if you do the envelope back, you can also change the pillow cover for the season. So you can yeah. make several yes. of these and use the same pillow. Totally. So, and, and I just think, you know, I, we love doing that. I mean, it changes the whole look of your room when you change out your pillows. And such a cute way to add a little pillow that goes with the quilt that you're giving too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So great comments from you guys. And thank you so much for asking all your questions. We're definitely going to collect the questions you've been asking so that we can make more videos for you in the future and we're <laughs> excited to see how many of you are asking questions for the final stitch too so tune in tomorrow for that Yay. it's really fun to to put that together yep. it's super fun let me know what you want to know i That's probably right. want to know it too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to know what you want to know that's right <laughs> all that the fun, fun things all right well we are actually going to be back with you next week well yep. at least me i know for sure hopefully i can get natalie to come on with me <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I sassed her a little bit this time, so, you know, she may, she may just hold that against me. We don't know, but, you know. I might just be in time out that day. <laughs> <laughs> With any luck, no, we'll be back next week. And we have another fun project for you, and we hope Misty's getting some good R&R. &R. Yep. And yep. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, be sure and watch Natalie's uh, final stitch tomorrow. Oh, one more thing, too. Get out and vote. Get out. Yeah, that. And vote. That's right. <laughs> and we also have some Dome Girl retreats that are coming up. Oh, yeah. Up. So, so Natalie exciting. and Misty and I have these retreats. We have four of them scheduled for the year. Mm -hmm. One of them is already sold out. The other two are, you know, there's still some spots in there. So take a look at those. We'd love to meet They're you and fun, see you. because it's like a whole couple of days of triple hanging, play, triple hanging play, out with triple us. Play. And yeah. lots we, do of fun. A, we do some classes. We have lots of giveaways and yeah. good and food. And that's right here in Hamilton. And we're just yep. hoping that um, we can... Everything's going to be great, and we can still do yes. them all. We're, Fingers we're, kind, we're starting to try to pretend that everything's going to go back to fun and participation and friends right. and visits and hugs. Hugs. We miss the hugs. Consider I yourself mean, virtually hugged by me. I hug everybody when I meet them, and so I'm like, <laughs> miss the hugs. Yes. But anyway, you guys, we hope yep. you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.